The Prime Minister of India and the heads of five Nordic countries are at the India-Nordic summit in Copenhagen. Meanwhile, the Ministry of External Affairs is giving a briefing on that topic. Let's cross to that live now. Started with his first meeting with, the, uh, with his counterpart from Norway, where the principal focus of discussion and partnership was on one blue economy and its various facets, uh, renewable energy, in particular cooperative possibilities in the field of um, hydroelectric uh, and green hydrogen. Three, the technology and investment ties. In this context, Prime Minister invited Norwegian pension funds to partner in India's growth story. Fourth, in the health sector, uh, in which the two leaders talked about cooperation uh, relating to joint research in vaccines and development of health infrastructure. And five, cooperation in building and restoring water bodies in India. Uh, they also talked about continuing cooperation and coordination in the UN Security Council, as well as bilateral cultural cooperation, including uh, in yoga between the two countries. Prime Minister Shri Modi's second meeting was with his counterpart from Sweden, where the uh, principal focus of discussion and cooperation was one on clean technology and sustainable solutions. Uh, this was discussed broadly under two rubrics, one relating to the investments uh, by Sweden in India in clean technology and sustainable solution, and two, partnerships in research and innovation in this field, drawing on a successful uh, partnership of under the LEAD IT program, which is the program relating to industrial transition. Uh, the two leaders also spoke about uh, SNT cooperation, including polar research, and in terms of new areas, talked about need to uh, shape new partnership in the field of space, Arctic research, and defense. His next meeting was with, this, uh, with the Prime Minister of Iceland. Uh, this year, uh, India and Iceland are celebrating the 50th anniversary of our bilateral relations. Uh, discussions between the two leaders focused on uh, cooperation in the field of geothermal energy uh, and its various aspects, including research, training, skill development, and innovation in this space. The two uh, prime ministers also spoke about cooperation in blue economy, as, uh, as also was with the previous two leaders, including in the field of fisheries and food processing. Uh, his uh, next and last bilateral summit meeting was with the prime minister of Finland, where the, uh, where the focus of uh, uh, conversation was to build on the existing strength um, which India and Finland have achieved uh, 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 in, in, in the entire ecosystem of uh, digital partnership. Uh, more specifically, uh, they talked about uh, uh, cooperation in the field of digital innovation, in the field of uh, digital goods uh, and platforms, uh, including infrastructure such as 5G and 6G. Uh, joint establishment we have already um, uh, recently established a joint center of excellence in the field of quantum computing, and lastly, uh, the investment in the technology sector by the Finnish companies who already have a very strong presence companies such as Nokia and Ericsson. The two prime ministers also talked about women empowerment, and they also noted the upcoming completion of a biorefinery project in Numalgari in Assam. Uh, thereafter, the Prime Minister uh, uh, started, uh, and as I said, it's about to conclude now, the second Nordic summit uh, with the five Nordic Prime Ministers. I'll broadly list out the three things which, uh, three clusters which ran common to the Nordic summit, entire uh, discussions. One is the need uh, to combine the skill capabilities in Nordic countries with the scale of uh, India, two, clean and green growth solutions, and three, to forge 
new innovative and uh, new innovation partnerships the discussions during the nordic summit were held uh, are, are being held basically in three clusters one relating to multilateral cooperation in the context of uh, uh, covid aftermath to the uh, climate and sustainable development and blue economy and three the innovation segment uh, i'll uh, just uh, very briefly list out uh, the key points which uh, which uh, which which came up in conversation uh, during the nordic summit the first is that uh, uh, prime minister appreciated uh, the uh, nordic countries as a very reliable partner in the last 75 years of india's journey of growth and economic development uh, it was noted that uh, nordic countries in india uh, have shared values of freedom and democracy and the rule based order and also share perspectives on various global matters um the uh, the areas of uh, uh, broad co cooperative partnership in with all the four nordic countries uh, essentially focused on um, uh, one uh, which matches also with the uh, with indian uh, developmental priorities one relating to um, urban renewal two river cleaning three the entire domain of renewable energy and four the skill development uh under the segment of uh, uh, multilateral cooperation uh, post covid aftermath uh, prime minister highlighted that uh, how india has used the it platforms for effective outreach and monitoring of covid vaccination in india and as uh, part of india's belief that uh, such uh, platforms are a matter of global good uh, he also mentioned that these platforms are available on open source basis um, india also has not just uh, uh, made vaccines available to over 100 countries but has also partnered with many nations in the capacity building of their partners uh, prime minister also said that there is a need uh, for temporary trips waiver for vaccine production globally uh, with a view to ensure its availability vaccines availability to the needy countries uh prime minister closed the segment by saying that there is a need for human centric multilateral order which is designed to respond to the current global realities uh under the segment of climate and sustainable development and blue economy uh, uh prime minister clearly outlined the india's commitment to sustainable clean and green growth as reflected in indian policies in this well we'll leave that press conference there for now